Hello everybody, welcome back to The Average. Today I thought I was just going to do a chill little draw a comic page with me. So I have finished the first Regency comic. So if you're new here, I make comics and this is the last comic that I made a couple of years ago now. I've been trying to make a comic for a while since I started full-time job again and it was really difficult for me but I'm happy to say that I've been working on one. Um, yeah, so this is the Emily is Burning comic and I'm really proud of this. I really enjoyed the process of it and I really liked it when I made it. Um, it's currently sold out and I might order more but I'm not sure. I might order more and then open, like do an Etsy open, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so this is my old comic and I hope that I've expanded on it uh, or like evolved slightly. So I finished the comic here. I've been working steadily every evening on this comic. This is the Regency one basically. And it's called The Slow and All at Once Disappearance of Olivia Newbury. And I really, really like it. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, it's been like a long process. And I do have to go back to the beginning of the comic pages and kind of fix them a little bit because I feel like as I went on it kind of gets better in style but uh, yeah so I'm really proud of myself this one is about 16 pages long uh, you can see all the pages here and uh, I just pushed through and I really I really did enjoy working on it I've got some more pages here but they're kind of like spoiler pages uh, I don't want to like show you guys just in case you want to read it um, yeah so I thought I would work on the next comic because they're going to be a duology of two short horror comics. So the first one is the slow and then all at once disappearance of Olivia Newbury. This is my script. And then the next one is called Wishing on a Star. That's kind of the working title because I'm not sure if I want that to be the title. I kind of like it. It's a lot shorter but I feel like it might expand as I work on it a little bit because when I wrote the script I kind of did it in a way where I just got the idea out quickly because I felt like that was the blocker for me like writing the script was something that was like stopping me a little bit from continuing to work on it now I've got the thumbnails that I worked on a while ago I'll show you the thumbnails for this is the thumbnails for the di slow disappearance I added as I went more and I had it I found it really handy to have a photocopy of the thumbnails near me so I didn't have to keep flicking to the page in my sketchbook and then I could just draw on this paper to add things or like rearrange panels and stuff so I found that really handy so I'm going to do the same for this one I just have to find where I've left them do 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 oh, that's this one okay so I think they're here so this one is only going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pages, which is kind of different to the other one, which is 16, but I think they'll match each other as I work on it. I think it's going to be a nice little collection. So I'm taking inspiration from like some short comics that I have. Um, obviously, I love comics because I love reading them. Um, what am I on about? I love reading them, so I love making them kind of thing. Um, so I'm really inspired by these short comics that have this format, particularly this one by Piao Studio and Ville Kilau. I hope I said that right. And it's um, it's like two comics together bound in this uh, little. I <laughs> someone told me the word before. I think it's a sleeve. And uh, yay! I think that would be really cute to have them as two little separate comics. And then maybe somebody could buy one if they wanted to or like, I don't know. And I think that's really cute size. It's obviously slightly different to Emily is Burning, but I think, I feel like this is just, I, I feel like this would work for this, this round. I think this would probably have worked for Emily is Burning as well. I just think it's like a nice little size and people can just quickly take it somewhere. Um, I do like this size though. And uh, please excuse all this scum. I know <laughs> this is my last copy that I have for me, and it's like covered in crap. Um, but yeah, and I have uh, I've got to think about what I want as the pattern inside, and I think I'm going to follow the same sort of format that I did with Emily is Burning, where I have items within the story because I think I could put like some key items from one story into the other to kind of make them like connect a little bit, and I think that would be a really cool sort of mini easter egg for people if they can spot it kind of thing 
I don't know, I'm just getting kind of excited about the final outcome because having finished the first comic, I'm getting really excited to think about what, how I'm going to print it, like maybe a Kickstarter again, because I did a Kickstarter for Emily's Burning and it was a really fun process. It's kind of nerve wracking and it is, whoop, can't get this back on. <clears throat> it's kind of nerve wracking and it is like a project in itself because you have to do like all the, um, the video and then all the artwork for the page and stuff. And I think like, uh, but I think it will be good. So let's, I'm going to photocopy this and I'm going to think about doing some character designs and stuff like that. <laughs> so let's go. So I've literally just taken a photocopy of these thumbnails and I'm going to get to work on it. I've done some preliminary work here because it's going to be set in the nineties, this comic. So I had fun looking at all this 90s stuff and feeling pretty nostalgic. Um, I did some character design here, but I don't know if I'm gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna think about like drawing little characters or something to find. This is some character design for the disappearance. It's kind of the bad guy. And yeah, this is our main character, Olivia. So let's get to sketching. Let's see. So I think this is kind of my character. I'm going to do a few more studies of her, but I really like the way that she looks, um, something about her. I did some like super quick studies, as I said, and I like her the best. So I went more in detail with her design. So I'm going to draw a little bit more of her and then maybe get started on the first page and let's see how it goes. That's great, Pesto, but I'm going to work. <laughs> Bezo. You could go. So I'm going to get started on just sketching out a page. And if anyone is wondering, I am just using like plain printer paper here. So it's kind of really cheap paper, but I really like the way that it looks. For instance, um, on the Invisible comic. So what I was doing, in case you missed the last uh, little comic blog, I'm sketching the imagery out on the back and then I'm going over with uh, the brush markers, Winsor & Newton, Copic, anything that I have and basically turning it over then doing this pencil line because it smudges when I go over with alcohol markers this pencil obviously smudges so what I want to do is have like a cleaner line, but I really like the way that this black pencil looks with the lines. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself for some people, but I just want to say it to everybody in case they're wondering what the process is. And yeah, I think it, it looks quite rough, but I, that's the style that I'm really enjoying at the moment. I love a lot of texture in my work. And you guys obviously know that because I say it every time, but I love a little bit of abstractness to this, like there's pinks and stuff where they shouldn't really be. and. So that's kind of the style that I'm going to go with for the next mini comic and I want to just do it similar style so they match each other. Um, I was thinking about going with a totally different style and then I realised like why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense. So the first page actually for this comic I've got this thumbnail, I'll just show you which is like the opening scene and it's going to be her like the main character in the 90s in her bedroom because I thought that would be so sort of really fun to draw and then I'm going to have the title on the actual page so it's going to open up as like a double spread for the first page so to make that I think I'm going to turn the papers this way and work on it like that and then just yeah sort it out when I come to scan everything in into Photoshop and sort it all out so it's all like the same size. I think the good thing with working at a smaller size, for instance this, I'm going to be downscaling this to here so that will be like a really good quality. Um, obviously the bigger image you have and you're scaling it down, that's going to make it look good. Um, not better but it's going to be good quality because obviously you're not stretching anything out like or say, I need. I know everyone knows this, but say if you're stretching an image bigger digitally, it's gonna be looking not sharp. So <laughs> everyone's like, yeah, I know stuff. What are you on about? <laughs> uh, just okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna work this way for 
just this first starting page because I think it's going to look good. Um, I'm using Pinterest. I think Pinterest is a massive help for inspiration. I've collated loads of images of like 90s bedrooms, 90s magazines, things like that, just inspiration to take. And I think that's really handy for doing this comic, like for the Regency era one. Obviously, I don't have a bank of images in my mind of Regency era things because I, I wasn't around then, surprisingly. So to go on Pinterest or actually the internet and be like, hey, uh, look at different films of that set in that era, look at museums, look at all these different things. We have so much, we're so lucky now to live in this era where we can just look things up and it's super helpful when you're making a comic and I implore people if they're a bit stuck to take inspiration from references. References are good. References are your friends. Yes, do it. Okay, um, so I'm going to be looking up 90s bedrooms because yes even though I was a 90s kid probably didn't have that cool of a bedroom I had those like stars you know those glow in the dark stars and I thought what would be a really really cool um item to share if I do a kickstarter maybe there's an option to get like little items with the comic so I was thinking like a set of glow in the dark stars would be super cute because well, it will be relevant when you read the comic, but also it's very 90s based. And also, I freaking love glow-in-the-dark stars. Does anybody else? I thought that would be a really fun thing to uh, to include. <sighs> I'm, getting ex I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting too excited. I feel like that would, <laughs> that would be like a really costly thing to do. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I would love to. It will be so much fun. There isn't really that much left to talk about the process of making these visuals. I know that my process is probably like pretty simple but I think that is good because it makes it accessible for other people to go ahead and make their own comics. Like if they want to mimic what I'm doing here then that's really cool, I wouldn't mind. So if you guys are making comics let me know because um, I know before when I was making Emily is Burning or previously when I've spoken about comics, lots of people have told me that I've helped inspire them to make their own comic which is so cool. I love hearing that, that is such a nice feeling and that's honestly like why I really like to share this process with you guys because I think like maybe it might help someone especially with the script and thumbnailing processes and stuff like that because I remember when I first started making comics I was really stuck on like scripting and things like that I didn't really know how to go about it so I hope that this process video sort of helps you guys a little bit on you know, also it gets the news out there about this comic, so that's helpful to me, obviously, but I do like the idea of like sharing comics with you guys and you guys getting ideas from what I'm doing and being inspired by each other. I really love that about our community. I think that we all like are creative people and it's really cool. I really like that. So let me know if you guys are working on projects. I'd love to have a look at what you're doing and stuff like that. Like. You know, I love sharing ideas and uh, I would love to see what your ideas are as well. So I'm just going and doing like a lot of brush markers and colouring. I'm trying to get that 90s vibe from the colour scheme. I'm trying to keep it similar to the colour scheme of the first one. In a sense, because it, I think it would tie them together a little bit. But also I want this to be a bit more like poppy, a bit more funky because it's set in the 90s. I can have real fun with it. Although, when we move on from this page, we're not really in her bedroom so much, so you guys would have to stick around for the ride to see what I mean by that, but this one gets a little bit weird, this story is a little bit abstract compared to the previous one, and even that one is super abstract, but this one is like, I feel like it touches on existentialism a little bit more than the first one, and themes of that so <laughs> I hope that people get this one if not maybe they'll just like reading it for the visuals but I, I really think like I'm really excited to work on it so I'm I'm happy with the story and I think it will probably be more pages than I've written because I think that's just how these things go like the Regency one I definitely had more pages there so yeah like that's that's the whole process really so I've been working on this for a couple of hours now and I think I'm just going to pause here and go have some lunch and then 
edit the video and upload it but obviously this isn't done I still need to do like a lot of pencil work the title is going to go roughly here so this is going to be the midsection of the page and then the title here I'm also going to do like stars here with a jelly roller like here so I'm gonna finish this a bit later because I'm hungry and uh, yeah I've been working on this for all morning but I'm glad that I've already started with my process, like made a character, started the new page, got everything going. So hopefully I will be able to finish up this comic in the next couple weeks, few weeks and get a Kickstarter going. And I really love to know you guys' thoughts on that and everything, like what you think of the comic so far. I'd love to know anything honestly that you want to say please let me know it'd be really helpful i'm probably going to post this on instagram later just to put a little bit of like a hint of something out there or maybe like stuff from my the the first comic the invisible comic i'm thinking maybe um some just to show like um some progressive shots of how it's going and yeah so follow me on there if you want to see this maybe finished product and uh that's it really, thanks for sticking along for a quick comic process and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this, uh, please give me a like and if you're new here please uh, follow my channel, subscribe, that would really help me out and uh, I can show you how, how I'm going. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you next time, bye!